Early in the morning, early in the morning, early in the morning. What's going on, the people that miss your boy Cam Topical Juice? And we are back with a very, very disturbing video today. This video is not about murder. This video is not about a shooting or a stabbing. This video is all about this pathetic, insecure dweeb named I'm Alex. Now, guys, I didn't know who Alex was at all before this controversy. In fact, even during this controversy, it took one of my subscribers a couple of days ago to message me in the comment section saying, yo, are you gonna talk about this I'm Alex situation? I said, who? Who? Who the f is this? I'm Alex who? I didn't know who he was. Yeah, he's a bigger YouTube than me, but I had no idea who this guy was. Anyway, I've looked into it now. I can't believe what I'm seeing. The guy is an absolute lunatic. This is a case of one of the most emotionally abusive people I've ever come across. A clear gaslighter, a clear narcissist, and someone who's insecure enough not only to be emotionally abusive, but physical as well. Anyway guys, let's get straight into this video, man. This video easily could be an hour long, but I'm just gonna condense it into a short video and really summarize everything that's going on, because I've really taken a look at all the documentation and I. I don't even know where to start, it's too, it's too nuts. So guys, all I ask is that you like the video for me and watch the video to the end. But like the video for me, it takes half a second, it makes a massive difference on how the YouTube video performs in the algorithm. If you like me, if you enjoy my content, please do consider pressing that subscribe button. It's road to 60,000 subs. Press the bell to be notified. And if you wanna support me and support the channel grow, please do join my Patreon. Last week I was exposing the Metropolitan Police's most prolific sexual predators. This week, tomorrow, I've got the best Patreon video yet. And it's all about the satanic and demonic history of the porn industry, guys. This video here is a proper deep dive you don't want to miss this one subscribe to the patreon and let's expose the truth so if you don't know who I'm Alex is let me summarize this situation I'm Alex is a pathetic insecure little dweeb who's also on YouTube and now I've not watched any of I'm Alex's content as I said I don't know who he is but from my understanding from what people have told me and what I've seen he's one of those youtubers who kind of talks about current affairs I mean not too dissimilar to me, but he'll, when people come out, when people get canceled, for example, he's the type of person to dance on their grave. He's the YouTuber that will expose the person who's been canceled, add fuel to the fire, dance and boogie on their grave, do a little moonwalk and break dance and go about his day. When you're a YouTuber like that, bro, you can't have no skeletons in your closet because when you live in a glass house, bro, they will come for you. And your house, Alex, my brother, your house, your house ain't even glass. That shit, I don't know, what's weaker than polyester or something? Is that even, I don't know what poly, fam, your, your house is made out of oxygen, bro, air. I could just put my hand straight through the walls. There ain't no, there ain't no glass there. There ain't no mass there. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no solid mass there. It's, it's nothing. Now the difference between someone like me is while I talk about other people, I do it with empathy. I do it with kindness. I don't live in a glass house. I, I'm not an idol. I'm not someone that you should look up to. I understand I'm flawed. I'm damaged. I'm traumatized. You feel me? Like I'm, I'm not perfect at all. And I, and I know this and I admit this. But someone like I'm Alex, he comes on here and he speaks a whole heap of nonsense about people that are cancelled. However, it turns out little old Alex has not been a good boy. In fact, he's been a naughty, naughty dweeb. Yeah? Forgive me for the outfit change. My hay fever is killing me. So I've got to quickly put on some shades. But um, <laughs> anyway, it turns out Alex has not been a good boy. He has been a bad, pathetic, insecure little dweeb. I've told you, yeah, little twat. His ex-girlfriend Alice has come out recently over the last few days and she has released an 82 page Google document. It may even be 84, I can't even remember, but 82, 84, Whatever. She has released an 80 page documentation exposing Alex, exposing everything he's done. I, I ain't gonna lie to you, yeah. Reading this document, I couldn't believe what I, I, I was reading, bro. I couldn't I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I'm just gonna put some of the stuff on screen, just some of the messages. Some if you can see they're a little bit blurry, but hopefully you can see them. He's it, like I don't even know where to I don't even know where to start with this guy. This guy, this is this is some of the most foul evidence and foul example of abuse emotional manipulation the guy is a pure narcissist he he just he, every single second he tells her to f off f off you're a cunt. fuck off you cunt you're disgusting little cretin i hate you i want you to die i'm gonna bash your skull again against concrete with a brick all this stuff like the honestly guys i don't know where to what to 
I don't know what to tell you. Him and Alice were together for a year. Like, they got together in 2023, and in that time, it started off normal uh, honeymoon, honeymoon, honeymoon period, honeymoon phase, and then it quickly turned sour. The guy is one of the most nasty and cruel individuals I've ever seen. He would call her a C-U-N-T every day on any occasion. He'd say, I want you to die. Oh, I can't believe how irritating you are. You make me agitated. You make me so angry. This, that, and the other. It started as verbal abuse. It graduated into physical. It graduated into destruction of her property. You understand? Look at the image on, uh, images on your screen. This was after he followed her around the house one time, got annoyed after she left, and I think when she tried to leave, he was in the other room breaking her monitors, smashing up her laptops, saying this is your fault, you made me do all this, saying that he dropped the laptop or something, saying that it was an accident. You know, really just trying to do all this manipulation. Eventually she tells her parents. Now, even her parents knew. Even her parents knew what well, somewhat what she was going through. I think her parents could have done more, if I'm being honest. The evidence that we've seen, or the evidence in the documentation, if I knew that about my daughter, bro, Alex, you are, you're, you're finished, bro. Hospital, cemetery, you know what I'm saying? What, what, take your pick. I will pack that guy off, big man ting, but obviously, I'm not too sure if his parents knew the extent of what he was doing. Even the messages from her parents were saying, listen, I don't like this, you need to leave him, he's gonna hit you soon, all this stuff. And I'm thinking, fam, if you know your mum, your daughter's going through this, intervene, bro. You know what I'm saying, intervene. As I said, I will lay that guy out flat, put him down like a sick dog, if that was my daughter. But especially this pathetic little mug as well. Like, have you seen this guy, some posh little twat? Who, you know them just posh dons that are just psychotic. They, they verbally abuse them because they because they got money, because they got clout, they think they can do all this. They can verbally, mentally abuse people. After graduating from destroying her property, as I said, he started to put his hands on her. He started to grab her. He started to kick her. started to throw her around the place. In typical narcissist fashion, after cussing her out for days on end, he will then say he loves her. He's sorry, forgive me, please. To turn it onto her, oh, it's because you did this, it's the reason why I reacted like that. I'm so sorry, let me come over, to come over to my house, I'll make some food, I'll do this, I'll do that. Next minute, oh, you're an absolute cunt, I want you to die, die now, drop dead now. Why are you talking to me? Why, why do I see that you're texting? Why do I see that you're typing? Stop typing and drop dead now. I said, I'm thinking, bro, how can you be so hot and cold? Katy Perry style. Yeah, huh? And you go, yes, and you know, you're up and you're down, you're in, in, whatever, I got the lyrics wrong, but did she even sing that song? Listen, it's one of them pop songs, fam. People like that are literally psychotic. One minute you're this, one minute, the next minute you're that. Not only has Alice come out, another ex-girlfriend has come out. Long story short, another ex-girlfriend has come out and said that she was with him between 2017 and 2018 and it was the most toxic relationship she's ever experienced. And she's only coming out now because Alice did. Not only that, I worked with someone yesterday. I'm not going to say her name because I don't want to bait out the thing. But I worked with someone yesterday. I met her yesterday on a job. And she was telling me that she knew someone who went out with Alex. And she saw him at an event about a couple of years ago. And they were together and she said, oh my God, my, my ex is here. I'm so scared. She said, I'm so scared my ex is here. And obviously the girl that I met yesterday was thinking at the time, she was like, oh, don't be scared. It's just, it's only your ex. You know, you can just pass it off as awkward or rah. But little did she know that her ex was someone who was extremely aggressive. She extremely abusive, both emotionally and physically. So this Alex boy has clearly been doing this to multiple, multiple women. And I can't believe he was, he thought he was going to get away with this. Even when Alice told him, fam, this is, I'm gonna report you, this is, I'm gonna bait you, I'm gonna expose you, my man sends her, I swear he sent her 50,000 messages on some reindeer thing, on some baby reindeer thing. Uh, are you there, are you there? Okay, I can't live without you, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Look, forgive me, this that, and the other, and then baby, you there? Okay, okay, I'll stop calling you now. Okay, I'll stop, I'll stop. Two seconds later, are you there? Oh, just call me. You know the one's there? I'm like, brother, have some shame. Have some decorum. Are you a man or not? Well, obviously, clearly, evidently, you're not. You're pathetic. You're a beta. You're a dweeb. You're one of the men that's so insecure in yourself, in your status as a man, that the only way you feel manly or the only way you, you, you're able to express some sort of masculinity is when you take it out on a woman. Bro, you're just a tramp. So, guys, honestly, there's so many things I could say but I don't want to make this video like an hour long. My, my camera's flashing, it's going to die anyway. I just wanted to address it because, like, this is the people that are famous. Guys, I'm not being funny here. 
This is why you don't see me with these industry dons. You, you don't see me with these guys. You see all these people that do all this, um, I don't know, beta squad or side men and I'm, I'm just Alex or whatever these men are. These, all these people that get brought into these football matches on TV and all these big celebrity stuff and like, there's a reason why you don't see me with these men, you know? Because I bet all these men behind the scenes are weirdos, bro. The, the way I see it, yeah, a lot of these men, they're all weirdos behind the scene. They are, they're all weirdos, they're all freaks. They all live in glass houses, bro. Like, me, I'm too real for them. I can't sell my, sell my soul for this. I can't compromise my integrity for this. I come on here and I tell you what it is. But a lot of these weird industry men in the UK, they're all just weird, booky guys, man. I'm Alex and all these other dons that... I don't want to be friends with them. I don't want to collaborate with them. They're all weirdos, man. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, guys, my hay fever's nuts, so I'm just going to leave it there. This video could have been about two hours long, but I just wanted to kind of give you a little summary on Wild Guan. I'm just, Alex, you're done for. Absolutely finished. You ain't got no career after this. You're going to be holding pockets in jail, grabbing ankles. You better start bringing your lotion and Vaseline because you're going to bend over, bro. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts. Stay safe, stay blessed, stay vigilant. I'm just a man in these things.